third. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so here we go. All right, so man, this integrated task, it's not too difficult, but what you get, I think is, I believe, you know, some people have said three minutes, some people have said three and a half minutes. It's really weird. So what you get is three to three and a half minutes, right? All right, and we're gonna make this as easy as possible because when it comes to this integrated task, it's literally four paragraphs, right? It's an introduction, you got your three body paragraphs, that's it, no conclusion needed. So what we have to do, we have to take down specific notes because then we're going to do the listening and there are going to be contrasting ideas. Sometimes the listening, there's going to be even more information that is stated. We're going to write that down too. And then basically what we're going to have, we're going to have reading notes, we're going to have listening notes, and then you're going to have to do your integrated essay, 20 minutes. It's crazy. It's crazy. But once you figure out that format and how to do it and go about executing it, it's no problem. So basically, the introduction always goes like this, okay? We don't care so much about the introduction above. We're just going to put some minor details in it, right? So, okay, um, normally it would be here it just says in the united states employees typically you know uh, work five days a week for eight hours however many employees want to work a four a four day work week okay now we need to look for the reasons all right now this is because um their normal pay would benefit the economy uh what else it offer employees the option of working a four-day work week four fits basically 80 percent etc etc so what we would do is the reading is about employees in the United States working, uh, or maybe let's say is switching from a five day work week to a four day work week, right? Now, again, I'm just putting this at the top of my head. That's kind of the summary, right? And the benefits behind it. We don't have to put so many specifics, right? because the specifics lie within the body paragraph. So this is how we're gonna open up, okay, in terms of the introduction. The reading is about employees in the United States switching from potentially having a five-day work, well, switching from a five-day work week to potentially a four-day work week. Boom, period. However, then we have to listen. Now the listening, the guy is going to either be for it or against it. So if he is for it, you would say the lecturer agrees to this for several or agrees in regards to blah, 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 blah. Or if he's against it, we're going to put, however, the lecturer casts doubts in terms of this switch for multiple reasons, et cetera, et cetera. Now, obviously, this is a really cool integrated template that shows this. Um, let's see. It says... His position is that the lecturer disputes the claims made in the article because of dot, dot, dot. The author of the reading presents three theories about why this may not work. Uh, the reading and the lecture are both about the four day, um, well, the five day work week switch into a four day work week. However, the lecturer disputes the claims made in this article with several theories, period. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is it's just a two sentence opening introduction. That's all it is, right? Two sentences, one linker, one boom, done. That's how quick it is. It should be no more than maybe a minute to a minute and a half, right? And so that's the basics. That's the basics. That's the introduction. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's very good, yeah. That's pretty, uh, to the point, precisely. Straightforward, precisely. exactly. That's right. Right, just straightforward. So as a matter of fact, I'm thinking about just, uh, if I could just lift this up. Nah, I'll do that next time. Okay, all right, because I'm probably gonna put them horizontal on top of one another instead of doing like side by side. Yeah, not horizontal, vertical instead of horizontal. Okay, so anyways, here we go. So now we gotta take some notes. So what are the notes? We have a topic sentence. The shortened work week would increase company profits. Ah! increase company profits okay awesome employees would feel more rested and alert okay so we could say because employees rested and alert okay now 
we could write down and you see as a result so we could write down result and say uh make fewer errors make fewer errors bam now also hiring more staff to ensure that the same amount of work would be accomplished would not result in additional payroll calls Co i'm sorry costs so hiring additional staff will not increase costs okay why there's always a why because the because is a why four day employees would only be paid 80 percent of the normal rate okay so why employees be paid only 80 percent bam that's it and then in the end companies would have fewer overworked okay all in all less overworked employees there you go so before i continue we have the 40 to 60 rule 40 percent of your paragraph when it comes to your integrated task is reading 60 percent listening so you need to take down a ridiculous amount of notes in your listening all right because it's the 40 to 60 rule so right here is your 40 percent You'll probably put in some filler language. Got to make sure you link link together all the ideas. But you must make sure that the listening, there should be more. All right. Now, we're trying to aim for anywhere between 200 to 250 words. All right. Preferably between 20, 225 to 250. That's what we're looking at. Okay. <sighs> so these are the very quick notes that we're going to get in terms of reading. It should take you about 30 seconds. All right. So we go into paragraph will. number two. What's up? With your teaching, it will get there. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Otherwise, you get, you get straight to the point real quick, right? Yeah, you just yeah. hurry up and, okay, listen, I need you. Listen, Alexander, I need you to do this. I need you to do this. And that's all I need you to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... All right, now, paragraph number two, we're right here. For the country as a whole, one of the primary benefits, aha, we're looking for the benefits of offering this option to employees is that, that adjective clause, it would do what? Reduce the unemployment rate, reduction in the unemployment rate. That's how we're gonna do it. All right, that's our little thing right here. Let me hurry up and throw our little videos over here just a little bit, bam. All right, what else? If many full-time employees started working fewer hours, some of their workload would have to be shifted to others, okay? So if many full-time employees started working fewer hours, okay, so let's put this, full-time employees work fewer hours equals what? workload shifted to others workload shifted to others you see how i'm just writing the content in the uh and i'm kind of switching up like noun verb verb noun you know what i mean like instead of saying uh reducing i put reduction i'm kind of paraphrasing it just a little bit just slightly we don't want to write down the exact same thing i've seen people do that in their essay goes and it just hits rock bottom okay you're good because I've seen your writing and your writing's good. And we're going to be following that. So that we're going to follow that same format. Yeah. Ah, last sentence. <laughs> Thus, for every, I know I'm dying. Thus, for every four employees who went on an 80% work week, a new employee could be hired at the same 80% rate. Okay, so what did they say? Four employees, four employees at 80% rate, new employed, hired at the same rate. That's basically what that says. That's all that says. So there's not much to paragraph two, right? Are you following me? Does this make sense? Yes. Yeah, it does, definitely. Okay, awesome. All right, and then after that, finally, the option of a four-day work week would be better for individual uh, for individual employees. Okay, so let's just put that right here. Better for individual employees. Oh God, quick, very quick. Employees 
who could afford a lower salary in exchange for more free time could improve the quality of their life. Okay, so let's see here. Employees uh, uh, approve, instead of afford, who cares? Approve a lower salary could improve the quality of their lives. Okay, by what? By doing what? Spending extra time with their families. Have extra time with families and hobbies. There we go. Hobbies meaning leisure activities. Leisure, British English. Ugh. Leisure, American English. Yeah. All right. So have extra time with a family and hobbies. That's it. That's your note taken right there. That's what you're going to do in terms of note taken. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Where is my water? My water's gone. Anyways. All right. So does that make sense? Yeah, that's right. <sighs> there it is. You're going to get, what, three and a half minutes? Take some very sparingly notes. Okay. And now we got to take the notes for the listening. Now, remember, he's going to start it off and he might say, however, once he says, however, we know exactly what we're going to put right here. Right. And obviously, yes, there are some cool things that we could take from this. Uh, the article mentions that this specific argument is challenged by the lecturer by him stating that. OK, it's all basic. It's all like it's all clockwork. But we got to make sure we take very good listening notes. That's the key. All right. So we got our notes here. And now let's hurry up and blow this bad boy up. Okay, let me throw the video over here. Uh, let me hurry up and do that. And here we go, listening notes. Bam. All right, so we got the reading notes and we have the listening notes. All right. So in saying that, what we're going to do now, we're going to listen. So remember the introduction. Sorry, something's in my eye. Remember the introduction. Okay. This it's really quick. First sentence, ba 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 ba. However, or the lecturer also agrees to this because dot 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 dot, and we'll go from there. But more than likely, he's probably going to say no. I do not agree. And so now it is up to you both, you and I. Now, is he going to say paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three? No. He's going to say firstly. Secondly. Finally, that's basically, firstly means paragraph one. Secondly okay. means paragraph two. Paragraph three is finally. You're going to make sure that those notes and those and everything that you're going to be taken down correlates with one another. All right. You got to make sure it correlates because we're not going to grab uh, what was said and finally and put it in firstly. Okay. It's going to go with paragraph three. They're going to correlate with ideas. Boom, boom, boom. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make that small. I'm going to bring up another window. Nah, there's no need to bring up another window. How about we just use this one? All right. Let me just put this right over here and let's kick ass. <laughs> let's kick ass. All right. Here we go. Let's lower that font. Alexander, you ready for some note taking, man? I know you're yeah. nervous. I know. Don't be nervous. We go kick ass. All right. It's all about the ass kicking. All right. So let me hurry up and bam. Those are our notes on the right side. And then on the left side, it's time to take some notes. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Let me just hurry up and lower. Let me just hurry up and make sure that this is all good. Yep. We're good to go. All right. So I have the audio right here. You get ready to take some notes. Remember, we're just kind of, we're, we're getting down the firstly. We're not going to do anything in terms of the introduction. We're just picking up whether he agrees or disagrees. Boom, link are ready to go. And then he's going to say firstly, and that's when we start making our hyphen. So paragraph one, done. Paragraph two, done. Almost, just about. Now it is paragraph three, done. All right, put that hyphen. It's note taking time. Let's see how you go. All right. 
Here we go, Alexander. Tres, dos, uno. On the topic you just read about. Oh, man, I'm good at Spanish. I'm lying. All right, here we go. Offering employees the option of a four-day work week won't affect company profits, economic conditions, or the lives of employees in the ways the reading suggests. First, offering a four-day work week will probably force companies to spend more, possibly a lot more. Adding new workers means putting much more money into providing training and medical benefits. Remember, the costs of things like health benefits can be the same whether an employee works four days or five. And having more employees also requires more office space and more computers. These additional costs would quickly cut into company profits. Second, with respect to overall employment, it doesn't follow that once some employees choose a four-day work week, many more jobs will become available. Hiring new workers is costly, as I argued a moment ago. And companies have other options. They might just choose to ask their employees to work overtime to make up the difference. Worse, companies might raise expectations. They might start to expect that their four-day employees can do the same amount of work they used to do in five days. If this happens, then no additional jobs will be created, and current jobs will become more unpleasant. Finally, while a four-day work week offers employees more free time to invest in their personal lives, it also presents some risks that could end up reducing their quality of life. Working a shorter week can decrease employees' job stability and harm their chances for advancing their careers. Four-day employees are likely to be the first to lose their jobs during an economic downturn. They may also be passed over for promotions because companies might prefer to have five-day employees in management positions to ensure continuous coverage and consistent supervision for the entire work week. Five-day employees in management positions. Damn it, I didn't get the last couple of things because I just kept making typos and stuff like that. But nonetheless, there it's is Mr. Alexander, okay? This is what it is. How are your notes? Tell me, what's up with your notes? Talk to me. I wanna hear about those notes. I don't know if I can see them. Can you see them? Oh, damn, no. I can only see Vietnam, that- Yeah, yeah. yeah this sound, I don't know, my, my notes look kind of terrible, but I need to improve the writing, yeah. Right, okay, so if we if we look at the notes, it doesn't look too bad, right? So if I look over here, okay, so if we look at the notes on the right side from the reading, it says increased company profits because employees rested and alert. Result that the result of this would be that they make fewer errors. Also, hiring additional staff will not increase costs. Why? Because the employees will only be paid at an 80% rate and all in all, less overworked employees. However, he refutes a few of these ideas. So if we look over here to the left, it says four day work week, forced them to spend more, a lot more. Yeah. What are some ways that they would spend more? Well, the new workers oh. equals more money into providing training and medical benefits. Also cost and health benefits, whether they work four or five days, more employees also would be required more office space and computers, additional costs would cut into profits. Bam. What did you write down? What did you write down? I wrote too much. <laughs> but anyway, I, can, I cannot remember. I mean, okay, it, it also, there's no guarantee that all employees will follow the four days. And, you know, so my, and sometimes having the lesser hours will cost to have hire more people or sometimes and having more overtime for the employees right. who work. You know, the same thing like the office space, the extra training. Uh, oh. Also, the you know, and, and then it, it can cause a risk for some employees not working enough hours because of um, if they work less, it, it, gives them a, it prevents a chance for them to grow. You know, if they want to have it going to management or other things, and they might be like most of they spend too much time at home 
Mm. Okay. The patient from the employer wants to finish more work at the, in the same time. You know, people who finish five days, they want you gotcha. to like work faster and efficiently in less time. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, you're not All right. Perfect. You're not perfect. <laughs> I think I put the right, notes. right, right. Much, now, yeah. again, in your notes, don't forget, because, you know, I was hearing you say some things about raise expectations. That was in paragraph two. So what I would mm -hmm. like you to do on your notes, this is me and my whole high performance day, but make sure when you're taking your notes in that audio, you write a line, separate information, separate that information, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I want to make sure. Now, remember, when it comes to your paragraph one, if you look at the reading, all it says is increase company profits, make fewer errors, will not increase costs. Now, we could do a comparison and contrastive statement. So what I mean by this is in the reading, the author had stated that hiring addition, additional staff wouldn't increase costs because employees would be paid at only 80%. The lecturer, however, refutes this idea because not only would it increase costs, but it would also, and then we would slot in a lot of this. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you here very quickly is one thing in the reading, as you see, right, uh, it's probably right down here. It talks about it wouldn't increase costs. However, in the lecture, it talks about increasing costs. So what we can do is compare and contrast it by doing exactly what I did here. Okay. So I said in the reading, the author had stated that hiring additional staff wouldn't increase costs. Sorry, I'm such a contraction guy. Would not, okay, make sure in formal writing, make sure you don't <laughs> do not with that. I, I have a terrible, terrible, terrible habit, okay? Um, but would not increase costs because employees would be paid at only 80%. The lecturer, however, refutes this idea because not only would it increase costs, but it would also health benefits, whether they work four or five days a week, uh, more office space and computers, and those additional costs would ultimately cut into profits. So what I'm doing here is, Alexander, you are not going to get ideas that correlate often. So when I say in the reading, let me hurry up and let, let me color code this bad boy and let me color, let me color code it green, okay? So the reading, hiring additional staff would not increase and dot, 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 dot. So this is the contract, God damn it. Okay, sorry. Let me throw my video over here very quickly. Bam, all right? So that's the reading, correct? However, the lecturer, I'm going to color code this another nice color, which is gonna be blue. Now, this is called the contrastive statement. In the reading, it will state something that correlates with the listening. So instead of just blah, 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 what we can do from the reading is state it before and then refute it by, of course, implementing what was said in the lecture. All right, refutes this idea by stating that, okay, health benefits, more employees require more office space computers that will cut into profits. So I can refute the reading by going with what I said with the listening. However, if we look at this, new workers equals, you know, more money, more training, better medical benefits, da, 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 da. I could put that in after I write it. So any additional information that was said in the lecture that was not stated in the reading you put it at the end after you refute the potential ideas, the contrastive information. So at the bottom of the paragraph, I could say also new hiring, let's say hiring new workers would mean more 
money would mean more money. Uh, no, hiring new workers would mean the company would have to provide more training and medical benefits overall. Now, it doesn't say anything about training and medical benefits in the reading, okay? It only talks about the respite and alert, make few errors, less overworked employees. However, in the listening, it didn't say anything about making few errors and less overworked employees. So do we have to include that? Not necessarily. We could, but remember we're aiming for the 40-60 rule. We could do a 35-65 uh, rule, maybe a 30-70 rule, okay? But the goal is to get in as much listening as possible. So in statements that we cannot compare and contrast, you're going to write it at the bottom of the paragraph by using a linker to add information. Also, what the lecturer had stated, or what's, what's more, is that the lecturer stated blah, 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 blah. And that's why we would use different things such as, let's go to the body paragraphs. Um, he claims that hiring new workers would mean that the company dot, 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 dot. Additionally, he points out that medical benefits would increase the overall, you know, additional calls result in, in what? Cutting into company profits. So does that make sense? So what I'm trying to say here is, damn, I got these bugs everywhere outside. So what I'm trying to say here is the reading and the listening, if you see two ideas that correlate, you're going to do it exactly how I did it here. In the reading, the author said this. However, the lecturer refutes this by stating dot, 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 dot. And what other additional information we potentially may have gotten writing down, okay, in paragraph one, two, and three, we're going to post it after we do the whole refuting thing. This is the whole refute, okay? I'm going to hurry up and highlight it yellow. The yellow means we got the reading at the top, we got the listening refuting. All other additional information in regards to the listening, we're going to post it exactly how I had written it. Also hiring new workers, da 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 da, provide training, medical benefits overall, da 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 da. This would cut into company profits. Do you get what I'm saying? So this is exactly how you're going to be writing each of your paragraphs. 